right, guys. It's time. Oh, it's been so long. It's actually been so long that I forgot to... Oh my gosh, I forgot. Hold on, I've got a whole... I got a whole thing to set up here. Oh my gosh, how am I gonna do this? Okay. Um, let's see. It's been so long that I haven't really put this back on my desk. Uh, all right. So usually when I play Witcher, I have a stupid candle on my desk because nothing says class like a candle. Nothing says mysterious fantasy time like a candle. I also had a bit of a coffee ring, so I'm just <laughs> wiping that off. Before I put that there. Yeah, no, I'm, candles incoming. Uh, I hope. This is gonna be interesting. Put that there. Alright. Especially since... Boy, my desk is a nightmare right now. But that's because my PC is in a state of... Collapse. Oh, why are you doing this for Okay, there we go. Here we go. It might be working, guys. Oh. 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 Okay. I usually have to get a pretty, pretty hot, hot camera angle. Uh. Man, that cord is like super in the way. Ugh, that is just raunchy. It's further away than it usually is. I think it might actually be. Uh, ooh. Clef and Stark. Thanks for gifting five subs. Well, you have a candle cam for cyberpunk. I need to figure out some kind of gimmick for that. Preferably something that doesn't require me, like, moving everything around on my desk. Let's... Hey, let's give it a shot, huh? Candle cam returns. Oh, wow. Okay. Hold on a minute. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, it would have to be an electric candle. Or, like, maybe a battery that's just sparking the whole time? It's happening, you guys. The ceremonial lighting of the Witcher candle has... has happened. Behold! A Christmas... a Witcher miracle! Okay. That is a... that is a really raunchy camera angle, but... Hey, at least this way it won't be obscured, really. And then here's that uh, hourglass that nobody really knows what to make sense of. Wow, that is not visible even a little bit. Let's put you there. That's a terrible idea. I can put it there, but that's where, like, that's where my beverages go. Oh boy, I guess I don't need speakers right now. Okay, let's put you on the ground. There we go. Uh, and then your exclamation point G Fuel branding. That's pretty, that's pretty sick, right? That's pretty sick right there. Yeah, we're witching. We're witching. I, uh, okay, let's go. What was the restaurant John wanted to get drunk at? Applebee's, I believe. Love the new Doom Eternal video on YouTube. Will there be a Gamer Rage highlight video of all your deaths so far in the game? Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure that's possible. Um, the, the gentleman who edited it is often in chat. Um, so, uh, that seems likely. Well, yep. Got to turn the glass twice. Bitters and six on. Allow me to serve. There you are. Actually, go ahead and put my my cute Mega Man coaster back there. Take a nice swig of delicious G Fuel. Mmm. -mm. Tastes like gamers. I'm still doing shirtless Geralt, um, but there are no mods installed really right now. Um, I have a I have the basics. Like I have. I have a 4K texture pack, I have the rebalance mod, I think I have friendly, friendly HUD. Like, I have all of the core functional mods installed, to, just so the, like, save file would load properly. Um, but yeah, apart from that, uh, there's, there's nothing else. So, there will be, uh, normal Geralt, normal Roach, normal everything for a while. Believe it or not, the, I'm running into this problem with Vortex where it can't get permissions to activate files properly. And that's because my storage drive is XFAT, and my save file settings are in my documents folder, which are on my storage drive. So I'm in the process of, uh, I, I, meant, I meant to replace my storage drive, which is an old physical drive, with a SSD anyway, so I'm in the process of doing that. Yeah, who knew XFAT would be such a fucking problem? Apparently it causes all sorts of weird 
file type problems. Um, and TFS is just the more stable one, it seems. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. There are... I found new... Uh, yeah, I found new uh, new quests. It's wild. I never did the wolf, the wolf set, which is like the most basic. Um, I just never did it. So let's do that. I gotta go get all my diagrams and then try and grind my way up the uh, the Witcher crafting tree. The real problem is gonna be when and if I run into materials that are not easy to find, and then I'll have to start busting out some wikis and figuring out where to get them. I have plenty of gold, so that's really not an issue. Not yet, anyway. I've actually been warned. Of oh, look at that six sword, though. What is that? Holy crap, what is that? I don't remember what my gear was at. Is that the Halcarvan? Have Karin? Man, that looks sick. I can't remember which one is which. I feel like PBR render engines have ruined graphics and games for me. Can't match it. What do you mean PBR? I think this game scales pretty well. Then again, there are some graphical mods installed at the moment. Also, like... I guess it doesn't look that bad. It looks really dark to me in the capture. But I think it's that monitor is just at a weird angle. I still use NNM Community Edition over Vortex. Vortex is working fine for a while. Yeah, it's weird. It just all of a sudden uh, lost ability to like write to my mods folder. Just can't deploy anything. Oh, well, the wolf is the best one. It makes you look like a ranger. Ooh. I look like Strider. Yeah, I wondered why I was not finding any upgrades for that. I mean, I think it's like you start with a Viper set, right? Which there aren't any any upgrades for. Oh, Grounded has ray tracing? Ooh, it does look really good. Grounded has a whole look that is just super, super great. I enjoyed it alright, but I do kind of wish it it doesn't seem to be doing just a shocking amount with the uh, survival sim sort of framework. Wait a minute. What's going on? What? Wolf part one? Eh? Which one am I? Oh, that's right, because it, it'll... Yeah, there's multiple. Oops. Okay, never mind. I'm going to this one. I think I just have to swim out to it. Yeah. Nice first night of hockey. It brought a tear to my eye. Not teams I like, but hockey is hockey. Yeah, Luke Fox. It's been nice to hear from people who, like, have just bitterly missed uh, their sport. Just feel the... Feel, feel happiness that it's back. Like, it was... I, it was nice to hear Omar just feel so fulfilled with, ho with uh, baseball back on the air. Game seems super quiet, so I'm gonna juice it a little bit. Actually, this seems like something that may just be the, uh, like in the settings, the audio might be down. No? Hold on a minute. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Just want to make sure I didn't do anything stupid. Okay. Well, it's just a quiet game. We have sport with live crowds. No, I don't think the United States is doing live crowds yet. Um, which is a good call. I'm gonna say well, a rare, a rare and good decision. Yeah, candle cam's real spicy today. I'm hoping it's not like actually heating up the webcam. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, that flame is going nuts. I've noticed that that happens. If it spends a long time without being burned, it just has a big old fat ass flame for a while. It'll eventually die back down to a little nubbin. Yeah. That Igni power must have found a must have found a source or a circle of power. Powered up my Igni's. No sport is having crowds. Okay, good. Probably a good call. Not to mention probably the future. This is gonna twenty twenty became twenty twenty real fast. Oh, there it is. Okay. What's 
better than finding treasure, am I right? Boom. Just looting a bit, you know? Feels good. Chainsmokers did a huge concert by me. All rich people, so they ignored all the social distancing stuff. I guess spending 1250 to 12000 to get the virus is a good deal. Hey, maybe you're spending that much to not get it. Oh yeah, you get to read about what happens. Uh, to all the, the various, like, crafting diagrams. They have, like, narratives about how they all got to where, where they are. Note to self, small isle with ruins or a bridge in the belt of red brick. Belt of red brick, that's the spot. Traces of a camp left on the side. I need to dive down amongst the submerged ruins. Chest visible among them. Hmm. Oh! Remember these buttons? These are bizarrely more similar to, uh, Ghost of Tsushima. That's uh, like a little loud now. Shocker. Oh, another day, another dance. With, vol with volume leveling. I'm gonna miss theater. The going to the theater so fucking much used to go three to four times a month. I'm sorry, Hammy Dan. Yeah, that's kind of been thrust into the spotlight now with, uh, like, the Tenant release. How it's, uh, it's kind of being held for theaters. Yeah, cinephiles, I feel like. There's just, there's just, like, certain, certain industries that have just been devastated. Absolutely wrecked. Live events, you know, bars, gyms, event spaces of any kind, movie theaters. I mean, I, I figured sooner or later the, uh, the changing shape of the way that people consume media was going to have an effect on movie theaters, but this is just like, again, it's the entire future all compressed. It's like we skipped 50 years. Why is there a candle cam? I don't know, man, because candles are pretty cool, you know? And The Witcher is kind of a candly game, you know? Does that make sense? Oh, Obi, you playing Grounded? It is adorable. Adorable is a good word for it. And I'll be using crowd audio from the video game and playing it through the stadium speakers, and it's fucking weird. Hmm. I've, I've often wondered how much of, like, crowd audio is exactly what's captured in the arena and how much of it is just kind of a, maybe other reactions layered on because you know there's there's always that aspect of like you're trying to put on a good show you're not necessarily trying to like broadcast reality as clearly as you can oh the philly the philly fantic is still harassing the cardboard cutouts <laughs> oh is that the uh, the mascot for the phillies Gotta roll with the times, you know. Oh, none of the players want it? Oh, the crowd noise? I could see that being really creepy, yeah. Just being like, ugh. Just feeling like you're in a, a, like a graveyard. Yep, Candle Cam is losing it today. Who knows why? Probably should have stopped in and gotten that other thing while I was here, but whatever. Stadium laugh track. <laughs> Oh, Night Sentinel, thanks for the resub. Oop, that, I have a lot of hourglasses to go. Okay, bitters. This one's for you. Oh, right. Man, this song rules. <laughs> Imagine looking at the sheet music. <laughs> then you just scream. <laughs> Man, those fucking drums, though. They don't quit. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's good. Good to be back. Good to be back in Witcherland. Hmm. <laughs> Does Steph hear you? Of course. Uh, she's she's remarked how like my uh, my random outbursts will sometimes startle her. Okay. Feels good. Man. Just can't beat just can't beat playing these video games. God damn. 
I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it surely got me when I fast traveled, right? Okay, that's not so bad. All right, all right. <laughs> Just Gerald. He's got bones poking through his arms. <laughs> Alright, let's go this way. Let's go this way this time. Yeah, Witcher fall damage. I mean, I think there's a mod. I have a mod installed that even reduces fall damage, but yeah. Witcher fall damage is no joke. Uh, they will they will fuck you up. I want to look around some. <laughs> Singing as he's tumbling down a cliff. Yeah. <laughs> non stop crackling and snapping. Teeth getting bashed out. I think it's... I think... It, no? Okay. I, I know that the walleye during uh, Witcher Vision made some people uncomfortable, but it doesn't seem like it's doing it. It's just zooming in a little bit. Yeah. There we go. Geralt is... Uh, Geralt's all upper body. That's not true. Geralt's all all body. We love everything about Geralt. He's just so dreamy, boys. Just so dreamy. What? Alright. Well, that's kind of back where I came from, so I need to go back there anyway. To, uh... Yeah, because there, there was this one here. Which is annoying, because it's in a monster nest that I already cleared. Which means I really should have gotten it already. That was just me being, uh... Hmm. That was me being not thorough. Not thra. Doing DLCs in order? I would suggest visiting Blood and Wine and going back to Hearthstone and Commissioner 2. That way you can pick and choose future quests depending on your mood, but you do you. Yeah, I'm just gonna do them in order. Too much of a too much of a needless purist. One of the things I like about about playing games in general uh, is is kind of experiencing a team's output in order. It kind of helps you see the way that they uh, kind of grow and mature and experiment around the same sorts of game mechanics. So what I'm really excited to see is from Wild Hunt into Hearts of Stone, maybe what, what aspects were changed or tweaked or improved upon, and then from Hearts of Stone to Blood and Wine, uh, what was what was done. Like, It's always amazing to me in games when a developer takes multiple swipes at the same kind of game. Like, what things do they stop doing and what things do they keep doing and what things do they start doing? It's always an interesting mix of like cutting away the things that didn't work, iterating on the things that show promise and then adding new things to keep it interesting and witnessing that mix is uh, is really exciting so i kind of like i kind of like playing things like chronologically in that in that reason it's nice to follow the digression yeah yeah especially with a game or with a with a developer like cd project holy cow man going from witcher 1 to witcher 2 to witcher 3 is is almost like a whole clinic in game development and maturation of a triple-A dev. Um, reminds me of the Final Fantasy XIII series. Oh, man. The, the 13 series was such a ride. Like, story-wise, I still am not sure what any of it was about. But, gameplay-wise, man, was it cool. Um, to, yeah, to get through 13, to, like, rip that band-aid off. 13-2, it's like, wow, you, okay, you, you figured it out. You made it into a normal RPG, sort of. And then 13.3 was like, okay, now you just kept going. And this is still cool. I, I really like Lightning Returns. I really, really did. That's finally out on PC, right? Man, maybe I should play that again. Hey, Mecha Arc. How you doing? See you again. Like, which one enough to finish it? Two was good, though. Oh, man. Oh, you wish you liked it enough to finish it. Yeah, I, I don't. I came to that realization very like I want to. I give Witcher one a real honest chance because like uh, even back then um, I I had read about the sort of the uh, the history of CD Projekt and I was like, well, this is a really cool story, um, and you know, good on good on these these dudes for just going for it, you know. Um, so I had a lot of respect for that, and I played the game a significant amount to like kind of get where it was going. I, I kind of didn't, though, actually. That game had a lot more content than I gave it credit for. But I spent like 10 hours in that first area, that big loop around that kind of body of water. I did a lot of quests and stuff, and I was just like, man, I don't know about this. So I just read a synopsis of the story. Uh, 
which yeah it goes to like an underwater kingdom and some it gets wacky man I, I keep forgetting and just how truly like fairy tale the witcher can be how like how like high fantasy it can be in addition to dark fantasy 13 2 give you the best chocobo theme ever crazy chocobo i don't know what is like seven remake had hip-hop day chocobo which almost seems like it's being self-aware so i don't know that i don't know that any video game work or composition of music in the human experience will ever will ever cap hip-hop day chocobo I only got to where there's a clinic and a church or something. That probably means nothing to you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that sounds... Uh, sure, yeah. That sounds familiar. Got that whimsical high fantasy vibe from the Netflix series. Yeah, I was impressed. The Netflix series struck a really good balance, I thought. Uh, both Witcher 2 and Witcher 3, to a lesser extent Witcher 1, but... They both kind of set you up to think that the game is going to be a, like a really dark fantasy, sort of broody everyone's shitty and the world is evil kind of thing and to a degree it can be but it has so much more like surprising depth than just being like a game of thrones also ran or like like any of the like b tier crappy ass 80s high fantasy dark fantasy shit we got after conan you know death stalker Dragon Slayer. I think that one that one might actually be family friendly. I can't remember. What a weird time in film. There was like there was like this weird infatuation with the purity of the pure storytelling of old, the, the legends of yore retold with the flair of the eighties. I want to look around some. Like legend, you know. Dark Crystals was sick. I didn't finish it, but man, I loved it. I loved what I saw of it. I want to look around some. I saw the first three episodes or so. I was intended to go back to it, but I didn't quite. But yeah. Now that's that's pretty high fantasy fairy tale stuff, with occasional occasional moments of severe childhood trauma injected in just for fun. Did you play through Ghost of Tsushima. I haven't finished it yet, but I am enjoying it very much. missions are getting repetitive yeah i'm kind of waiting i'm kind of waiting for that to hit in with me it's not repetitive yet but i can definitely see it getting there I can see it getting there pretty quickly all these flipping ghosts Too many gosh darn flipping ghosts. Better stab him with my sword, I guess. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, they will keep spawning. Oh, yeah. Is this one of those areas where you gotta like solve a mystery to make the ghosts go away? I'm just having a hard time finding this uh this chest armor diagram. Ah, uh, yes, Piro, you your hint was on the nose. Did you just remember that? Okay. Oh, what do you know? It's right here. Skip to Horizon Zero Dawn on PS4 after I found out it was coming to PC. I got it on PS4 and still couldn't find the time to get around to playing it, but... Yeah, maybe on PC. That'll help. It certainly bumps the game up in the, the old video game queue. Oh, that's why this is lit up. I think those are in Skellige, but I could be wrong. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Ooh. Did the announcement of the Witcher prequel inspire this gameplay? No! Um, me quitting my job inspired this gameplay. 
Yeah, watch me double dip on that game and never actually play it. Hey, that's that is likely. Uh, this is a game I always wanted to play through, but never found the time. Uh, because it feels it feels like one of those games you're not allowed to play if you have a job. You know, if you have anything else going on in your life. It may not. It may not be. In fact, it, it's. Oh God damn it! It's pretty demonstrably not. But I wanted to wait until a time where I could just like kind of live in the game, and do nothing to play the game. Uh, I haven't quite done that with this game, but I've certainly put a lot of time into it and really enjoyed it. And I don't know that I could have done that. Uh, actually, I know for a fact I couldn't have done that while not being a full-time streamer man. Oh, okay. Hold on, let me... What are these guys? I usually have a mod to do to do oils for me. Uh, they're golems, which I believe are... Element? Are they elemental? Yeah, okay. Elemental. Oil. Please tell me it's not this. Okay. There it is. I can also put mods in my sword. Oh yes, McClippy, thank you. Um, unfortunately, there's a bit of a queue for the hourglass, so Ruby Rose, this one's for you. I keep forgetting, but McClippy, I will get to you, I promise. I sink in, I sink into Witcher 3 so hard, there were days I forgot to eat. Wow, Hammy, that's intense. But that's, that's the kind of experience that I want, yeah. I'll shower when Tamaria is safe. And not before. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't. You can't, uh, you gotta roll away from that. Oh! It's slowly coming back to me. Oh, that's not good. Seems weird. Oh! Doesn't seem like that's supposed to happen. Is there a difficulty mod on? Yes, a few. I'm playing on Death March. I'm not wearing chest armor. I'm not using Quen. And there's a rebalance mod that, that makes it more difficult. Um, I don't know. I just, the combat was not interesting to me. Uh, and this game is a little too easy. So, I, I did some tweaking to, to make the hits stick a little bit. This game has lock on. Unlike Ghost of Tsushima. The rocks are grooving. <laughs> seen rocks vibe before one of the worst things about ghost is the camera yeah the camera's the camera's a little whack in ghost it's a little whack in ways that like cameras haven't been whack for a while so it's kind of weird that it is it is that hey come back come back what are you doing did not stab you for 20 minutes just to have you walk away give me your stuff give it to me that's mine now Styles, thanks for the prime. Camera's ass, but so pretty. Yeah, it's a it's a testament to how good the game is that you're willing to put up with the camera, really. And I'm more than willing to put up with the camera. So I want to look around some. Last bad camera was Sekiro. Sekiro had its moments. Uh, Ghost, I I think is a little bit worse, but there's also a lot more motion in Ghosts. I feel like in general. Hmm. Chat yelled at me for not taking everything, so there. I took a skull out of a, a barrel. 
Are you happy now? Are you happy now, mother? Do you approve of your son? Almost like a chest. Ooh, Mastercraft. Mastercraft. Oh, yep, thank you for reminding me. I'm still so behind. Cup of tea. This flips for you. Uh, Joyzy Toad. Thanks for the sub. I love that name. That's a great name. Uh, KRW. Thank you for the prime. What's the story behind Candle Cam? There really isn't much of one. I had a candle on my desk because I like candles. And this seems like a moody game to have a candle in. Uh, and then I thought, wait a minute. What if I, uh, I have an extra webcam. Why don't I just show chat this, this candle? And there, and thus, the candle cam was born. That's kind of it, really. Oh, I think I need bear fat or something. So I'm gonna piss off this bear. Hey bear, piss off. Stupid bear, you were even laying down. Never lower your eyes to an enemy. You're a stupid bear. There. That's what happens. Give me your fat. I need it for potions. It's mine now, that's mine. Oh, look at all these horses! Oh, it's so magical. Uh, okay. My very normal looking roach. Faster. Wow, this game's so good. How's, um, in general, I'm gonna ask again, how's the stream looking? Let's go! Is the video feed still quite a bit smoother than it used to be? I did a lot of, uh, did a lot of, ooh, intoxicated puma. Thank you for flipping that candle, or flipping the hourglass. Um, I did buy a different capture card. Oh, I gotta go around. Yowza. Alright. Looks solid? Okay. Yeah, I, I think I'm... All I needed was some amount of validation that other... Other Elgato cards just randomly drop frames. What'd you get? Like, the Aver Media Gamer 4K something something. They can do 4K 60, which is all I needed to do. It was kind of hard finding a capture card that could do over 1080p 60. Um, there aren't really that many. But yeah, Evermedia, I guess, put out a recent card, so... I'll check it out. It was like 300 bucks. I figure if, if I... if it doesn't work, you know, I can always just return it. If it does work, then I can get... yeah, I have a second PC. Yep. Two PC setup. Trying to... trying to get... The, I have a magical dream, you guys. I have a wonderful, beautiful dream. And I've seen other streams attain it. Mostly playing older retro games, amusingly, but... I have a dream of finding an encoder and a capture card that can actually grab 60 whole frames every single second and never ever not grab 60 frames. Cuz yeah, I want I want I want the video feed on this stream to be the most buttery smooth beautiful thing you've ever seen. Just the most Yeah, second so PC with Threadripper. No, I I've thrown money at this for sure. What's the point of two PCs when streaming? So that you have one PC that is wholly dedicated only to encoding video. Um, it is it is difficult to entirely separate those processing resources on a single PC. There are certain um, rendering bottlenecks that I ran into that ju were just not... You were not able to circumvent them. Namely, the video card having enough draw time to both render video game scenes but also render OBS scenes. So... I don't know if that makes any sense, but... Might want to look around some. Those are the issues that I ran into, and uh, no amount of research yielded anything that would uh, imply that... Like, even, like, restricting it running on particular CPU cores and all that stuff doesn't doesn't really matter. You can't, like... You can't set priority for the video card. Uh, at least... Not that i found. Um, for me, in particular, I think it was Assassin's Creed Origins that um, even when I was constraining the frame rate would run at like 80% video card capacity. And I found that when my video card started hitting around 80% that uh, 
OBS would just start dropping frames. Like, the video card would not have the time to slap the webcam on top of the gameplay and generate a frame for OBS to then encode. That's where it kind of fell apart. So even though I had plenty of CPU overhead and enough video card overhead, you'd think, it still got really stuttery and, and OBS was dropping a ton, so... That's a no bueno. No good. Second PC helps with that, but... Also, you invite on a ton more problems. That's all fun. Oh, there's a monster den. Do I want to just get in here and clean this out? Nah. Yes. I have to get some oral surgery on Thursday. I'm going to start my new job on Friday like I was supposed to, but at least I'll get to watch the Nier Automata stream. Oh! Yeah, I'm excited for that. 24 hours of Nier Automata coming up, everybody, this Friday. Gonna be a lot of, a lot of ass. Ow. Hey! Okay, this, this is starting to stack up here. Are you ready for booty? Intense anime cheeks. Righteous butt. Can someone explain the candle can? I think you guys can do it. It's, it's really not that interesting. Ooh, key required. Challenge accepted. Hold on, let me bring out a torch for maximum immersion. Yeah, there we go. It's like I'm really there. Yeah, I've got a couple of texture mods installed. So it should look nice and crisp. My Geralt is more Castilian than ever. Unfortunately, I, uh, yeah, I'm, da I'm keeping it at six, six megabits for the time being. Twitch seems to behave a lot better for most people if I don't try to shove extra bits at it. This game still looks great. Yeah, it scales really, really well. I'm shocked at how moddable it is. I mean, you gotta, you gotta love it a little bit because there's been so many different versions, um, like Game of the Year and stuff like that. So, there's some tool sets you have to kind of install to get it up to sort of a community standard, but. It's really not that bad. And, uh... It may not have been that way at launch, of course. Which makes me wonder. Dearest Sir Robert de Mare, Thank you for sending a bill of exchange in advance. And for your understanding, if I gave out advice for free, I'd very quickly run myself out of a business. You wrote that your son went missing a while on a voyage. And that near the place where he was last seen, there now lurks a necker who wears a tattered shirt with your son's monogram sewed on it. You asked if it is possible that this necker was your son, transformed by some spell. After consulting the relevant literature, it pains me to inform you that your hypothesis is entirely probable, and there exists a much simpler and more likely explanation. Contrary to popular belief, neckers are a sapient species. Like forest trolls, they will at times decorate themselves with pigments or scraps of human garments. One can, with some confidence, surmise that this necker killed your son, tore up his shirt, and then donned it, or some fragment thereof. While that is most likely the case, one cannot be certain. Though I have not heard any curse capable of turning a man into a necker, I cannot rule out the possibility of its existence. In order to find out if the above-mentioned necker is truly a creature born of a curse, the tattered shirt it wears must be taken from it, cut into shreds, and burned. The shirt's ashes can then be mixed with demeridium dust. If the resulting substance changes color, it will inform your hypothesis. If the experiment I described returns a positive result, please write me. I would gladly undertake further examinations meant to find a way to lift this curse. For additional payment, of course. Greetings, Klaus Kellerman, Magister Arbitus Oxonius... Nainsis? Nainsis? Sure. I guess, was that the dude that was trying to save his son? Yeah, it's a bit of a fission mail there, but I can get the treasure chest on the way out. That's cool. At least there's treasure for Geralt. Here. Need to use the eye. Oh, Lord. You remember the eye. Oh. Wait, that's not the... This, this is the... This is the ghost lamp. Oh, okay, never mind. It just works like that. 
He died. Serves him right for using the N-word. That's true. You can't just call someone a necker. Wow, that actually sounded close. Don't cancel me. You guys promised you either wouldn't cancel me, or that if I did get cancelled, you would have to stick by me. So we're in this together now. Just remember I'm that. not going I'm anywhere. taking you with me. I'm taking you all with me. Fair Oak? Or, yeah, Fair Oak 1. Thank you for the chunkity cheer. Thank you. I appreciate that greatly. Hey, White Rabbit Object! Thanks for gifting gifting a year of subs? Jeez, thank you. Look at this. You're cheering and getting things in return. Beautiful. Oh, perfect voice line. Go back through, get that treasure. Whoa. Yes. Remember that pinky promise we made under the soccer tree? Exactly. I put on pants. I'll never forget that day. Will you? Hey, Resonator. What's up, dude? Just being chill, man. Chilling out and witching a little bit. Ugh, this candle's like... It's awesome because I have a desk fan and the candle's is far enough re removed from the desk fan now that I can have them both going. But like the candle vapor goes right up into the fan and blows directly into my face, so it's kind of making me a little... It's weirding me out a little bit. Making me feel a little weird. I'm getting these fumes directly in my face. Oh, what scent? Um, it is a Red Dead Redemption 2 candle. So it's like really kind of rustic, I guess is how I describe it. It's, uh, it tastes, I, I think it smells like, it's like blood orange and tobacco and sandalwood and a couple of other things. But yeah, it smells really like, it smells like the, yeah, it smells like the good cowboy smell, not like actual you know, horse manure and stuff like that, but, like... It smells like a cowboy who wears flannel but stays inside all day. Yeah, it smells like a cowboy, basically. That's exactly it. Oh yeah, while I'm in Skellige, I might as well try to sell stuff, too. That's been my consistent... My consistent, uh, burden in Witcher 3 is finding a merchant who has enough money and I can unload all the heavy crap that I have. Somewhere. Like, I don't know where Geralt... I don't know where Geralt hides it. It's not like he's got a lot of hiding places right now. Cowboy smell is Marlboros and whiskey. Not a whole lot of whiskey in this, but, uh... Yeah. I'm interested in that Souls game Hellpoint that's coming out this Thursday. I am interested! I didn't know it was coming out on Thursday. Man. The Wikipedia page for game releases is really just not good. Do you guys know of a good resource on the internet that is, has up-to-date listings for when games come out? I know it can get a little uh, overwhelming if it's like everything. It's every piece of trash on Steam, but... I keep trying to check for these major releases. Like, I didn't I didn't even really know Grounded was hitting until yesterday. It would be nice to plan a little more. Google? Yeah. I mean, Google, you have to know individual game names, right? Releases.com slash PC, PC games? Hmm. Machinima.com. What about blog.machinima.com forward slash? Okay, this is pretty good. I like this. Releases.com. Yeah. I think I could use that. Games coming out in 2020 like a savage. See, I do that, and it usually takes me to the Wikipedia page, or at least it used to. I want you to get off. Get off. There, thank you. Hey, Gab's Pot. What's up? Nothing much, dude. Just witching. Just some low stakes witching. That's all. No big deal. No big whoop. You know? Just traveling to the whale graveyard. Zigzagging through some 
coastal monstrosities. God damn it, is it bandit camp? Seriously? Alright, fine. I'll murder every last one of you. Gotta remember what the guard button is. Awesome. I think I, I think I like half installed a few mods before that may have accidentally undone stuff in the game. All right. Well, I've murdered you all, and now I'll steal all your shit. I'm a hero. Burning some cowboy incense and killing some coastal monstrosities. Exactly. Which reminds me. Let me catch up here. Uh, cup of tea. Did you stream in my dong? Allow me to flip this hourglass for you. Faster. It's still side quests or is this still see? It's still side quests. I found a couple more. I think I'm about to get the last diagram for real. And then I'm gonna go try and craft what I can craft. Which may involve a lot of uh, poking around on wikis. To uh... Oh lord. You know what? Let's not let's not bother him. He seems to be doing just fine. Ah, uh, he's getting up. Okay. Yeah, I know. No, I didn't want to do that. Roach, I need you to. I need you to. Vamoose, my dude. Okay. <laughs> At least the lootable thing dropped before he flopped over the side, but... Well, I don't have to worry about that anymore. Jeez. Oh, this game. Oh, just Krem? You heading out? Collect armors, never use them. True completionists? Basically, yeah. And this is what I wanted to do in this game. Yeah, I will I will absolutely be crafting the master level witch gear that I will not touch ever. I'll put it on maybe for fun. I'll have it. That's the important thing. I'll have the save file and it'll be there. Hmm. Magic. A place of power. Uh somebody's asking if this is modded. It is sort of. Um, ooh. hold on a minute. I ought to be getting a hia here in a minute. Hold on a minute. Wait for it. There it is. There it is. Oh, you're just saying bye. Okay, never mind. Thought you were heading out. My bad. Can I put any kind of mod on PS4? I don't think so. Unfortunately. Maybe there was a way, and I just don't know, but I'm not aware of one, unfortunately. Okay, now I've got to go to... Let's go! Well, I'm gonna go sell whatever I can. In the major, major city here. I can't quite remember the name. Of it. I will soon. And then... Craft what I can craft. And then figure out what I gotta... What I figure out.
<sighs> Just another day in the life, am I right? Another witch, witch day witching. Think more streamers need candle cam? Yeah, what's with, what's with that? Huh? You know? Why am I the only one? Why am I the only one? Are, is it possible that other streamers are cowards? Maybe they are. I'm not saying they are, but maybe they are. Tired, huh? it's something to think about. I'm not saying anything. Just something to think about. You're back. Was right, wasn't it? Big money grant. How are you? So long. Actually, wait a minute. Let me uh, let me see if I'm pretty sure none of that stuff I got is better than what I have, but might as well look. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm like one level away from being able to wear this stuff. Yeah, I am. I'm actually pretty close. That's right. The master swords are better than some of this stuff, but can't hold them yet. Too too weak. Poor girl just can't do it. All right, then anything less than 180 armor, yeah. Oh, uh, this guy's also a, uh, isn't he like a master armorer? Can't he make the better stuff? I think he can. So you're back. Wouldn't mind. Got 1850. I feel like I might need silver. So I might need to start breaking down these instead of selling them. He's only journeyman. All right, never mind. Never mind. I so guess long. there was a whole quest. There's a whole dialogue thing there for him to be like, nope, can't do it. Suck too bad. Okay, well, never mind. I guess I, I did liquidate my inventory mostly. All right, back to Velen. Back to reality. This is UI Diablo three. Eh. I mean, it's faster with a mouse, but I, for some reason, this game just feels more more correct on a controller. Hmm. All right, McClippy, your hourglass flip has arrived. Please savor it. <sighs> time for DLC. Not quite. Not quite. I have to burn a little more time uh, trying to craft armor and weapons. Because now I have more recipes, so... Um, let's see here. Swords are easier to mentally keep track of because there's only two... Wait, there's... Yeah, there's like silver and silver and steel in each school, so I guess that's eight swords total. I think. Maybe it's only six? Gonna try to clear all the question marks? No. Not yet. Still on discovered notice board, so I don't know. Th that, those markers can be bugged. Um, there's a... Uh, there are notice boards that say that they're undiscovered, and then I go to them, and there's nothing new on them. And I have actually gone to them before, so... Yeah, don't trust their lies, basically. Oh, that reminds me. I'm also doing a pretty big file transfer in the background, so the game might perform a little strangely. Greetings, I greetings. Go. Seems pretty good so far. All right. Listen. Let's see. Let me just check. Check my inventory. Oh, why? Is there a way to check my inventory real quick? Well, let's do this. So I've got feline, ursine, griffin, feel griffin, feline, ursine. So. I guess there are six swords total. Are there? Is, is there a wolf? Hold on a minute. F 
feline, griffin. They're just master craft, craft silver. That seems really basic. Yeah, it's level 16, who cares? And ursine and viper. But viper doesn't, oh, and wolven, here we go. Yeah, wolven I, I haven't made silver or steel with yet. Wait, there is no wolven, wolven steel? I don't know. Crafting in this game, especially with the menus and the way they work, can be a little, a little raunchy sometimes. Uh, let's see. So I have superior griffin. I need a master class, and that's right. I need demiridium ingots, which I don't think I can craft. I don't finding demiridium. I think is pretty difficult, but we'll find out. I do have a feline master craft. So that's good. It's one master craft. Oh, because these are under silver. That's right. Steel's lower. All right, I get it now. Let's see. If, let's let's see if I can march up the uh, the woven line here. By one of those, bang. Superior. Wait. Enhanced. There it is. Meteorite silver. Bang. Superior. Scraps. Bang. Masscraft. Again, Demeridium. Don't have it. Uh, let's see. Be surprised at how many components you can craft. Maybe I can. Let me see. Demeridium ingot. I think it needs Demeridium powder or whatever. Let's find out. I know that I've. I think I've looked at this before. Eh. Yeah, Demeridium ore. It's nice, but. Demeridium ore. I can get from Dark Steel and Meteorite. Jeez. Okay. So now I can make the can make the Mastercraft Wolven. Yeah. Uh. So now that's finished. Hands superior. Need leather scraps. Al albedo. It's a lot of stuff. How's the witching tonight? I mean, I think it's going to be this for a while. The diagrams for the Witcher gear, that was a whole playthrough. Is it really? Is it really that bad? I haven't, uh, I haven't fully tumbled down this rabbit hole yet. But I kind of want to. Just because. I don't want it sticking in my brain. Let's see here. Okay, so leather scraps. Let's see here. How do I make leather scraps? That should be easy. It's very easy. Okay. Now. Now it's going to get weird because I have to keep like going between recipes and ingredients, I guess. So... I can make ore. Meteorite silver. I need more of that. Where are you? Meteorite silver. Ingot. Alright. can make some of these. Yeah, okay. Demeridium ore. I need dark steel ingots. I can buy those now, so I might as well. It's working, you guys. It's working! No, oh, no steel. No, silver. Okay. Oh, did I not make the ingots? No, I think I just made the ore. That's right. Glowing ore ingot. It's two green gold ores. <laughs> this is so silly. <laughs> oh man, it's so complicated. Uh, uh, okay. Maybe unrefined copper ore. Ugh. Okay, I can make... Griffin Mastercraft. Yeah. Alright. Alright. So I have Feline Griffin Mastercraft. I need Ursine Mastercraft. Mastercraft. Well, I need actually need Superior first. But I have the Mastercrafts for all the other ones, right? Yeah. Silver. Uh, Griffin Silver. Feline Silver. Alright. I'm doing it, you guys. You can pin the things you need. 
Uh, that you can pin one thing at a time, I think, right? Uh, so yeah, that's right. Up here in the shop panel, need dimmer to me and gets into Rebus. I don't know where Rebus comes from. Can't make it. Maybe it dismantles from stuff? Uh, I need Demiridium as well, again. Which... I'm gonna need two glowing ore and one ingot. Or one Demiridium ore. Ooh. Man. Oh, Destroy All Humans is out today? Nice. Wait, I uh, remember to dismantle things too? Yeah, I haven't been doing that as much. I've just been been selling things, thinking that it would, uh, that I would be able to just buy whatever I needed from merchants eventually. Uh, I don't know that that's the case though. Uh, let's see here. I pinned it, right? Oh, I, I should probably pin the other thing if yeah, I should probably pin one at a time and try to scroll through and see if anything will pop out of all this junk that I'm hoarding. A glowing ore? Oh wait, no. Never mind. I was like, I need that. But it's coming directly from the thing that I'm, I already have. Uh, that's good. Yeah, dark steel. Dark steel the hedgehog? Okay. Looks like I have some stuff tied up in plates. That's good. I don't think I need these for anything else. Shoot, how many of those do I need? How many dark steels do I need? Uh... Oh, yep, I'm losing track of candle cam here. Uh, hold on a minute. Where did I lose it? Okay. Uh, werewolf, here's your flip. Please enjoy. I wish there was music that would play in this menu. This feels very barren. I guess I can, here, let me just. Let me just kick on some some other video game tunes because I'm gonna be in this menu for a minute, I think. Ooh. There we go. A little texture. What's with the hourglass? It's an hourglass. Not everything has a re has a, a reason. All right, here's what I'm scared of: is that I'll need the plates for something later. Yeah, I've got a lot of loot. People told me to pick things up! So, hold on. Uh, crafting. Or, so yeah, dark steel makes ore. I can just on the dark steel plates I've got. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay, ore. And then I need two glowing ore ingots. Or I can just make two more of them. Mm. Oh, I'll just make these out of this. All right. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. Uh. Okay, whatever. We're, we're fine, I think. Alright. 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 <laughs> oh, wait. That's not what I needed, actually, is it? I mean, I, w I will need it, but I don't think that's what I need right now. Grifton and Mastercraft. Feline's Mastercrafted. <sighs> yeah. Alright. So. Oh, wait. I need Superior first. Which means I need Al Albedo. Which, yeah, I think maybe has to dismantle from something? Alright, hold on. Let's see if I get lucky. Oh, I can dismantle riding flesh into riding flesh. Hey! Sick! I don't think I saw Albedo pop out of anything. Might be time to, uh, to look up something on a wiki here, guys. This is it, though. This is the this is the culmination of uh, the culmination of everything I've ever wanted in this game is 
poking through mounds and mounds of items, content that somewhere my, uh, the collectionism that I was bullied into by chat is being, is being valued. See your plates, dark steel. Yeah, this stuff's all pretty good. Timber? Huh. Oh, albedo is an alchemy craft. That's what I thought. Maybe, uh, maybe the alchemist in city has it. But you can, you can dismantle alchemy, right? Lazy genius, thanks for the prime. Appreciate you. Let me keep flipping this bad boy. Intoxicated Puma, here's your flip. Please enjoy it. Uh, Big Money Grant, thanks for the sub. We love you and have only good intentions for you. Well, thank you. Oh, Albedo's you can craft it anywhere. Okay. Okay. Uh, I will do that. I will do that shortly. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I understand. 10-4. I am I'm looking at this now specifically just to uh, to get kind of a fix on what m what like resources oh never mind what resources I'm sitting on. <laughs> so gotta sleep. Good luck with the witching. Witching the witchiest witcher. Catch you at the next one. Well, thank you. Sleep well. Oh boy. Ugh. White gull and mistletoe. All right. I'm grind these up, I guess. Uh, I remember White Gull is like, that, that's really hard to make at the end of the game, right? Whatever. I can't remember where... You can craft white gull, right? Does it not count as an alchemy substance? I'm keeping track of them all? You don't need to, Malcolm. I can see it pretty easily. Uh, I appreciate it, though. For instance, Evan G. Norris. Here's a flip for you. Bang. Hey, what's up, Geralt? Welcome. The stream is for you. You can craft white gull and buy it. It's under alcohol? I thought so. Did I just not see the alcohol subsection? Oh, there it is. It's actually right there. Ah, yes. Cherry cordial and mandrake. Yep. This is what I was warned about. Uh... They tried to warn me. They tried. I didn't listen, though. <sighs> um, let me go see if I can find it. There's an alchemist here. It's like right over here. I thought. No, it's like up here. That's right. Michael's under alcohol. Yeah. Get there eventually. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. The thinking see right away up at the best deals this side of the you're not a, huh? Hello, fella, well, Salutations, eh? Oh shit. This is really confusing. Hold on. While uh while I'm doing this, I will even though the music's great. Since <sighs> freaking hell. Dude's inside the building. Alright. There we go. Can't have music playing over the streets of rage. Come on. Hello, Drasmir. Welcome. Just taking care. Oh yeah. Just taking care of some. Uh... I'm surprised that did not murder me.
candle cam is calmed down. Yeah, I don't know why it's like that. It goes it goes wild every time. Uh, after, if I leave it for a while, man, buildings here are confusing as heck. Maybe the alcohol from innkeeps, cherry and mandrake stuff. Usually herbalists won't carry those pieces. Yeah, and aren't there like specific, like not every bartender will carry that. Uh, the door must be on the other side. Maybe they'll just have albedo. Solve this pro solve this problem for me. Awfully kind of you to visit again. What sort of herbs? You just might. Have <sighs> no, not seeing any. Unless this is it. Nope. Although, yeah, there's. Sure. <laughs> I have a lot of bottles. Take it. From the ta taverns in Skellige, I had the stuff I needed more regularly. Okay. Yeah, but I guess this is now a globe-trotting adventure to make swords I'll never use. I thought I wanted this. I think I want this. I think this is the video game I want. The master alchemist in uh, Skellige sells albedo. All right. Oh, come on. <coughs> there, there's no barkeep in here, is there? Okay. There's people jamming out the Gwent theme. So much music. There is a barkeep in there, god damn it. Uh, I don't think there's anything there, but still. What? Greetings! What do you. Man. Yeah, there's nothing here. You are a disappointment. It's so much soul to have a body like Geralt, scars included. I think most people would. But, uh... All you gotta do is uh, just work out every day and eat almost nothing. It doesn't sound that bad, right? Okay. Uh, where is the Master Alchemist? Is there a Master Alchemist in, uh... Care trolls? Get right on that after this box of Oreos. Oh, no, I want Oreos. Why can't I have Oreos? I'm trying to be skinny. You guys, whenever I hit my goal weight, I'm gonna get so many subs, you guys don't even know. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be so popular. Oh, well, there's a there's an alchemist. Oh yes, thank you, thank you for reminding me about Candle Cam, uh, Alley forty two twenty two. There's your flip. It's gonna be insane, you guys. I'm gonna be so rich and famous, rich and famous. Would you like to buy? Maybe. Oh my gosh, you guys. Well, still nothing but empty bottles and flowers. I'm guessing this is not the Master Alchemist. There's an art skeleton by the pond. Alright. Looking skinnier? Yeah, I'm so. getting there, Ansem. Weight's starting to come off. It's slow. It is slow. Get mistletoe? Did he have mistletoe? Would you like to pay so Was it not a... Um, maybe it wasn't pinned? Yeah, that looks like mistletoe. Yeah. Good moves, thank you. So, yeah, Geralt, I don't have I don't have a million mods installed. My game's kind of in a perilous spot right now. Uh, mod mod wise, there's kind of a, a cock up in Windows Windows file permissions of all things that has been has been annoying me for a while and is finally coming to a head. Um, all right, where the heck is Art Skellig? <laughs> I don't remember. Hmm. You just like doubled stuffed Oreos? Yeah, I'm not a big fan either. I don't like... 
I don't like like shortening based frosting. It tastes like animal fat and it's all gritty and like grainy. No, thank you. I'm much more for like whipped cream frosting and things like that. Better texture, better taste, like better everything. Druid's camp signpost east of the big island. Druid camp. East of the big island. Am I not seeing it? You don't have them on your map. Oh. Is this the east coast on the big island? My bad. Druid's camp. All right. Sorry about that. Chocolate dipped pretzels are great. Oh my god, chocolate dipped pretzels are so good. Uh, yeah, chocolate dipped pretzels are kind of king snack. King candy. No, where are you going? Where are you going? Hey. You're not the... Uh. Oh, there you are. No, you're not. Damn it. You have to wake up. Dude, just sleeping under, like, torrential rain. I love it. What happens if you flip the hourglass? Well, cool sounding name, or cool sounding me did it a while ago, so behold. That is what happens. Lazy Genius, thank you for the prime. Thank you very kindly. Why? Thank you. Good lord. Alright, now we're doing it. Nope, he doesn't have anything. Uh. Uh. <laughs> what do I do? I mean, there's more mistletoe. That's good. He has the alcohol? Oh, he, he has white gold? Might. Dwarven spirit. Octello. Alcohest. What did you need for white gold? Well, I need an albedo. Um, people, people seem to think that this guy just sold an albedo. Uh, I need white gull. Oh, so have you ever attempted the cow beast? It's one of the first things I did. Is defeated the chort in battle, playing uh, Witcher Three. Yeah. Hit up in keeps for alcohol. Yeah, I guess I guess I'll do that. All right. Well. So Going to need the arena flower for more white gull, though. I don't remember any herbalist selling alcohol. I don't remember ever being able to buy white gull. Can find it as a plant nearby. Well, hold on. Uh, I need cherry cordial and mandrake cordial. Uh, can I make those? I don't think you can. I can make this though. Chandari cherry and mandrake you gotta buy from in keeps okay yeah. or i can like yeah i need out yeah oh, i need more allspice i guess all right in keeps it is let's see if this guy is allspice would you like to buy something maybe just in case yeah there's some okay in keeps an art skill might have them okay Alrighty. Still not quite sure where Art Skellig is specifically. Or is it just it's just the uh what is this? Well Mario Paint. <laughs> See Alchemy to the north of you? 
I in keeps. I need in keeps. In keeps. Does that, do I hear that? The music? Yeah, of course. I just remarked upon it. Man, this place looks so cozy. I would very much want to just like pound cheap beer here until I pass out. Ooh, here we go. Now we're doing it. Now we're doing it. What's this? Oh. Okay. Excellent. Just excellent. Yeah. Look at all this white gold I can make. I'll never need more white gold in my life. We got it made in the shade, guys. I think. I'm kinda scared to make these, but. Oh! Oh, it's albedo I needed. Okay, let me make a ton more albedo. Ooh, what do I need? Oh, I, I was Crozine, not Allspice. Oops. Well, time to go back. Time to go back to the Alchemist. Set up a white gold stand? Yeah! Easy, guys. Easy. Do you guys need, a, do you guys need white or uh, white gull? Pay me $30,000 and I will d drop five white gulls off for you. Maybe. You close the tab and open it up again, it resets the ingredients? Like if you just leave and go back into the uh, the merchant? Man, easy. So long. Alright. We got it. Oh my gosh. We got it so hard. This is kind of what I was hoping to do, is to like, find upgrade paths that were log jammed due to some silly uh, crafting bottleneck. Kind of jog all that stuff loose. Hydrangeum. Because hmm. I feel like getting getting upgraded oils is going to be pretty good for the uh, for the DLCs. It's going to make that that ride a lot smoother. Yeah, I feel like yeah, you need white gold for all of this. Keep this tagged all the time. Grounded got you into crafting mode? A little bit. That's it's mostly just like the crafting threads I haven't really been following uh, as I play the game, so this is sort of me catching up at the end of the game. Yeah, not sure. Everyone seems to say that, uh, yeah, the alchemy builds in this game are both broken but fun as heck. Raising. I think I could see that, like juggling the inventories and stuff. Oh. Why'd you come? So wait, he just regenerates? No. Does it take a few days for him to get his ingredients back? Alright, well. That's fine. I got my albedo. I can make the next sword. That technically was the goal. Oh, three days maybe? Okay. Yeah, I feel like at some point in the game I probably should have been like checking in on merchants and, and scooping up crafting materials as I played. I guess you could also just meditate three days straight. It really doesn't matter. Okay. Man, this is only for the swords, too. This is way worse for armor. Because I think each school has four pieces. Yeah, the music fits, right? This music is just the best. Oh, they reset every five days. Oof. Uh, there's probably more bartenders around Skellige then. If it get if it comes down to it, I might need to just make a tour of Skellige, hitting up all the hitting up all the bars and cleaning out whatever stock I can. Tossing, tossing. Uh. 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 Uh.
pants simulator. Oh. This is a 100% full lore playthrough. Oh. Since there's lore around all of the Witcher schools, oh. their their stuff must be crafted. That's just how it goes. Yeah, you can meditate for five days. Yeah. I think a monster kills help with alchemy. Monster kills typically drop the crafting crafting materials you need. That's true. Listen. Okay. Superior. Yes. Need Rebus and Demeridium Ingot. Where the heck do I get Rebus? I know this. Oh, Kingdom Hearts? Yeah. Fighting troll liver was a total bitch for all the upgraded oils, yeah. Remus is an alchemy crafting opponent. Yes. Maybe I can make it. So bunch of coffers of white gold. Well they were they were full, but I'm I'm burning through it pretty fast. There it is. Uh, I need ergot seeds. Alright, I can probably get that in an alchemist. No problem. Hey, no problem. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it so much. Time to kill some Heartless. Exactly. Open up. Okay, so pathetic. Watch where you're walking. Okay, looks like a merchant. Oh. I don't know what, what this dude sells, but. Mm. Folk. Love that dude. He's my hero. Yeah. What oh, are you? I don't want that. It was an accident. See. <laughs> you can fast travel on a boat? Oh, I keep forgetting about that. Yeah. Awfully kind of you to you There you are. Ergot seeds. I feel like I should just buy everything. Right? Maybe? Uh, maybe I actually don't have that much money. Hell yeah, triple triad. I know exactly what this is. Hell yeah! We're really gaming, guys. We're really doing it. Take care. Okay. Rebus. You are mine. Behold the creation of Rebus. Rebus Philbin. Rest in power, Mr. 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 Philbin. Got any DLC yet? No. I accidentally started a blood and wine quest. Greetings, IBM. But no, I've been uh, this is all really boring, like end game crafting wrap up stuff that honestly is, is serving no one no one but myself. But, you know, hey, whatever. What's video games for? I need that 100% completion. I need it. All right. I have all mastercrafted silver swords. And it was easy. Time to go to steel. So I have a mastercraft feline. I, okay. I need demer, ah, you still need a demeridium for steel, okay. I have Mastercrafted Ursine, and I have to make a Wolven, yeah. Uh, let's see what we got. Let's see how high I can fly. Oh, I'm already stuck. Oh no, that sounds bad. Dark Steel. Superior needs Dark Steel. 
So I need three Dark Steel and two Demeridium right now. Okay. Dark Steel, I'm pretty sure. Well, I guess I can. Yeah, I might as well craft it. Superior. Bang. All right. So I need four Demeridium, and I can finish off all the swords. It serves me. I don't miss your DLC reactions when I finish off some of the last summer homework I got. Hey, there you go. I'll move on pretty soon here. Just just sweeping up some 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 stuff on the floor here. Uh, Bob Hug Monster. I'm flipping this hourglass for you. Ilmatic, thank you for the sub. I know that this is not the most exciting gamer stuff, but this is, you know, this is cozy. I like I like that downtime at the end of a game where you're just kind of like bashing through menus. Uh, gives you I feel like it gives you time to reflect on everything you've done and like poking back through your inventory and looking at all the crap that you've picked up over the course of your journey. So I need four ores and four ingots. Uh, So I can shortcut to these ores. What happened? Why did it do that? That was weird. Oh no, wait. Okay. Glowing ore ingot, all right. Actually, wait, if I can get one more dark steel ingot. Yeah. Okay. One more ore. Okay. Now, if I make four glowing ore ingots. Yes. a monster egg. Interesting. Not something I expected to run out of. Uh-oh. Does I mean I gotta go... Got any Mastercraft armors? I think I have... Yeah, I have a few Mastercraft pieces. But I don't have any Mastercraft sets, I don't think. Also, I'm one level short of actually being able to equip Mastercraft stuff, which is at level 34. So... Alright, boys. Alright, alright gamers. Let's do it. Bang. Uh, cockatrice, let's see here. Crafting component obtained by certain monsters or by dismantling the following. Oh, okay. Egg, egg, egg. Okay, maybe I can dismantle an egg. And maybe we can get a monster egg out of it. You know? Maybe I got one of those kicking around my inventory. Maybe I do. Seems like there's some egg thing. Oh, look at that. Using a wiki. Uh, I mean, I, I didn't have to. I could have just tabbed through my stuff, but... I don't know, guys. Do you Do you think it's... Do you think it's more gamer to, to beat a thing without using a wiki? Or is it more gamer to achieve maximum success as, as efficiently as possible? What's more gamer? Using wiki is fine. Depends on the situation. More gamer to use a wiki. Use your resources. So you guys would not be... You don't think it's gamer to like put on a blindfold and attempt to like fight... 20 dudes using only your senses. More gamer to use wiki. Interesting. Wiki saves time. Disregard success in any way as max gamer. Dot cast. Thanks for the sub. Gamer's smarter than that. Hmm. More casual to try to figure it out on your own. Really? That's an interesting take. I would have thought it would be max gamer to be like a... To be like a, a monk. To defeat it using nothing but your own mind and, and your two hands clutching that controller that's what i would have thought but i really i think i honestly need to change my uh change my change my whole attitude change my my mindset around around big gaming oh yeah are these crossbows better than what i'm using 
Yeah, it seems like it. Item must be upgraded to Grandmaster level to unlock bonuses. How do you upgrade it? Like, I don't see recipes for Grandmaster crossbows. Unless they mean the rest of the, the rest of the set. Maybe that's what they mean. So a feline and an ursine crossbow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I haven't made either of those. All right. Neat. So that's it, right? For swords, I'm gonna compress all my rune stones here in a second. Um, so to like, or maybe just just level up a few really good ones. Uh, nope. What the heck? I really want to go over there. There we go. 10 to 12. Why is it so little damage? Oh, okay. I guess I'll pick whichever crossbow is the set that I end up wearing, but yeah. Unfortunately, I need... I need one more level to use any of these six swords that I just made. <laughs> You're listening to Game Music Radio, brought to you by the max gamer move is to one. Try everything though. Hmm. I think you're right. I think you're right. Just don't follow a step-by-step -step walkthrough throughout the whole game, and always attempt at least once to figure it out yourself. Is what I say. Hmm. Okay. Will gamers have spreadsheets when they play games? All right. All right. 420 viewers. A. Hey, it's a good time. All right, so yeah, I have two mastercrafted boots, but that's it. Enhanced, enhanced, and enhanced, superior. Uh, okay, so it's it's three schools. Wait, no, is there woven armor? Right, I guess I'll find out. Kind of scared, kind of scared to find that out, but I will. Which is better for 20 or 69? Oh my gosh. You're basically asking if like sex or weed is better. There's woven armor. Ah, uh, yeah, it's so much. Oh no. Uh, armor piercing seems real good. Chance to stagger, chance to poison. Yeah, I feel like just Stacking attack power is probably the most direct and the biggest thing. Can you can you put more than one kind of rune? Or sorry, can you put duplicate runes on a sword? So could I put like multiple attack power up percent things on a sword? Oh, you can? Okay, so I could just put three Chernabog, Chernabog runestones on something and be fine. Does it stack? That's a good question. is the best combination of runes. I mean, some of them, I guess, would depend on what you're fighting uh, based on, like, uh, elemental weaknesses and stuff. <laughs> to the wiki we go. Doing it real gamer style. I like it. So, yeah, there's the glyphs. It just seems like, yeah. Burning and bleeding seem good. Why not? Oh crap, I'm running low on money. I'm actually running out of money. This guy has so much, so much money though. I can probably sell a lot of these runestones for, for a significant amount of cash, I think. Yeah, 382. So what's this 916 42% thing? I guess that means that they don't, they, he's only paying me 42% of its value. You want to pick the runes that augment the strength of the specific sword. Ah. The only runes that matter are the one that lets you auto-deflect arrows. Huh. 
Don't sell runes. Okay. I mean, even these? I don't really use, like... I mean, I, like, I will never use Quinn. So, like, there's no reason to hold on to it. I think it's more like who who would buy it for more money. Like, do I really need 10% more Axie? Ever? I guess I'm, I'm panicking too early, but... Sell the runes and glyphs you don't use? Yeah. But, like, this guy's only giving me 42%, so... Is there an NPC that will buy runes for way more? So... Isn't there a way to make blank runes? Nice. Yeah, there are blank rune stones that you can then inscribe. Nice, Trey. You almost got 300,000 hack points. That's gonna feel real good. You can craft your own runes, right? Uh... I don't think so. I think there's a vendor that buys them for a little better. Yeah, I would assume there is somewhere. 42% seems pretty low. Oh, uh, wait, wait, what did I, hold on, where did I put that marker? Oh man, this fucking music. Uh, isn't a blank runestone just a rock? Yeah, but, but like round, you know? It's like round and smooth and looks magical. Gotta be sick. Ooh. When we get the buy VIP for 500k points? Pretty soon, I think. The thing is, I don't want people to not use channel points on other stuff because they want VIP, so I feel like I have to maybe somehow find a... Huh, enchanting startup costs? Is that a, is that a DLC mission? Yeah, oh, okay, it's a side quest, got it. Look at how clean that, that log looks. Look at how clean and empty that quest log is. Looks pretty cool, huh? It's a pretty cool looking log. All empty like that. I keep forgetting, yes, okay. Are we modded still? Sort of. Um, sort of. There are some base mods in, but it's... I've had to roll back a lot of the mods because... Because, uh, like, Nexus Mod Manager went kind of berserk because of some really weird and funky folder permission stuff going down in Windows. Yes, man, Castlevania 4, so good. A lot of current games that don't give any insider information like the Soulsborne games, which make it very difficult for players to decide what to do with their equipment and how to go about their gameplay. Also, the lore is so hidden, using a guide or help in those games is quite helpful. I agree. I mean, it's, it's interesting because there are games that are pretty obviously designed in a way that like you would not find everything only on your own. Um, like, I feel like there are entire features and builds that people just may never find in something like a Souls or Demon Souls or Dark Souls, you know? Just entire NPCs you may just happen to not talk to. You may never figure out how to level up. It's crazy. I haven't watched too much of your shenanigans here since you moved on from Funhouse, but I gotta say, you sound way more chilled out and comfortable with yourself now than a year ago. Yeah. Having, uh, having less stress will do that for you. Man. Yeah, it's this this is way more suited to my demeanor, I think, than uh, than where I was before. So yeah. I'm glad you glad you noticed that. It's also just like it's a lot easier to, to be just generally chilled out when you're uh, just vibing on the internet, you know? Listen to this music. How can you not be chilled out? How? It's not possible. Okay, let's dive back into... Oh, that's right, they separate it. It's, like, different now. The names of the crafting is different. It's more well-organized when it's swords. Because this just has enhanced or superior first, which means you have to bounce up and down to make a single, like, line of craft... I don't know, it's weird. Old Habit. Thanks for gifting five subs, dude. I appreciate that. Kraken has a thing that is 500,000 points, but most people still spend channel points on other things. That's a good point. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't I shouldn't overthink it. So like, ugh. Okay, so it's gonna take forever to figure out what I'm doing. Okay. Wolven boots. And then it's enhanced wolven. Be 
to make a ton of a ton of leather scraps, which I don't recall being that hard. Yeah. Why do you do that? Dang it! I guess if you mash. There we go. Do you know the J Do TV guy that did some work for Bruce? Nope. Never met him. Never introduced. Here we go. So enhanced is now created. Now a superior woven. Needs meteorite. All right. And Mastercraft woven. Not enough coin. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. I mean, man. 20%? Oh, Yeah, definitely not. Maybe 40 was good. Maybe I should have uh, cashed out at 40. <sighs> yeah, broke. Hmm. Well, okay, so not having money is an acceptable reason for me to, uh, to move on. Yeah, this is Final Fantasy VIII music. Hmm. Sell two runes and be done with it. Well, I'll, I'll trim. I'll sell all the runes. Uh, that I can. Hold on a second. Selling runes and glyphs. Bang. Sell to the hearts of stone. No! Rune right? <laughs> to recoup some of the money you spend on his useless services. Maybe I do have to go to that rune right, rune right guy. Best prices in Novigrad, including Hattori. Okay, so it was Hattori, yeah. Or the uh, fairy, or two, anyone in Toussaint. Oh. Might as well sell them if you're not going to sock at them. Alright, well, back to Hattori then. This music is so good. The Rin right, yeah. Oh, right. Roach! Hey, yeah. The rune right needs like 20k coin to set him up. Oi. Well. Oh, it's five? Alright. Well, anyway. He has to wait. He has to wait until after I'm done crafting. I think uh, I might also be able to save a little more money just like by dismantling and crafting items instead of just buying them direct from the merchant. I was largely doing that to save time. Wasn't that a side quest? Yeah, I've already got that one. This this music is not a mod, nor I mean it's out of game music. I'm playing it. I'm playing it outside of the game because I was just staring at crafting screens that didn't have any music on them. So. I have an emote idea for you. Beat Mania or DJ Yaoi hands emote? Be quite suitable. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, that might work. I think you talked about that before, but I just don't have emote slots right now. Um, after the 24 hour stream, I might. The music playlist is this? It's an it's an online streaming video game playlist. Greetings, I beer. Um, I hear I can link it for you. It's just rpgamers.net slash radio. It's pretty cozy. It's got a lot of like classic RPG music and good mix of like Listen. retro and like I guess still retro <laughs> music. All right, selling. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm not ever gonna use signs for like Yerden or Igni. I don't know that I'll ever use signs at all. Like, they're good enough without like 10% boost. Uh, TJ, o TJ Omega, thanks for the prime. Uh, and Trey, thanks for the resub, dude. Thank you. Yeah, I'm thinking about just ditching all of these. Signs are so fun. I mean, yeah, but they like, 
I can cast them without needing 5% buff on them. I think I would rather just put... If I have, like, upgrade slots... So, wait a minute. Each one of these pips on a sword is gonna... Is either a rune... It's either a rune stone or a glyph... No, wait. Glyphs are for armor, right? Is that how that works? So, it's like... Hmm. Okay, yeah. Swords are just runes. These are just... Okay, so... It's not, it's not like it's taking the spot of something else. Or rather, yeah, I got, okay, never mind. I'm sitting on gold mines here, though. I'm gonna sell some of these that I don't need. Adrenaline point gain? I mean, whatever. Sell that. Sell this. <laughs> this kazoo's what the heck? Done. All right, whatever. Okay, I got a little walking around money. So long. Ooh, a dog or rack speeder. Oh, yep, white rabbit. Let me flip this hourglass for you. Thanks for keeping that keeping that hourglass from getting dusty. All right, back to. the armor. Make some more boots. Yeah, I guess I'll craft as much as I can. I don't know. I should probably have sold more rune stones just to see if I can stumble stumble through finishing crafting everything. I don't it would be not it'd be nice to tip myself over into level 34 just so I can walk into the DLC with mastercrafted witcher armor. But, uh, you know, we are not all so lucky. What is that? Odd Boy's Wine Oh, yeah, it's the beginning of Blood and Wine. I accidentally went there. No, this is not a mod. I'm just playing just playing stuff in the background. I think DHL doesn't want to deliver to your, to your go, box. Go. Really? Have they just made a few attempts? I mean... PO boxes are easy to deliver to, I, I hope. It's crazy to me considering how much time you spent in this game that you're still only level 33. Yeah, the game scales experience pretty hard. So if you're not doing something that's level appropriate, you'll get like 5 experience for it. I spent a lot of time doing underleveled quests just to do them all. So, I think somebody who spent, you know, 20 fewer hours in this game not doing those quests would still be at the same level. But they wouldn't have... They wouldn't have the memories. That's the important thing. Oi, get out. Need some more. Okay. Master crafted boots. Kablamo. It worries me that this is the only Mastercraft I see. Uh so hold on. What boots do I have? I have Superior Griffin. Mastercraft, Mastercraft, Mastercraft. Okay, so I need Mastercrafted Griffin boots. But they are not showing up. Do I not have the recipe for Mastercrafted Griffin boots? And also, how did I make the other ones without having the recipe for those? The only Mastercraft showing up right now is Wolven. That's really weird. What's going on, guys? I haven't done the DLC yet. Nope, I have not. 
Master crafted griffin is what I need. Oh lord, did I just never get that? Never get those diagrams? Superior griffin. What a pain in the ass. Uh, let's see. Let me check my quests. It's in here somewhere. There it is. Oh boy. Um. Are they sorted? Uh. Okay, here we go. Scavenger, cat, uh, griffin. Oh my god, griffin part two. Griffin part two. Maybe, oh, Griffin Part 4. And yeah, maybe I just didn't finish the Griffin scavenger hunts. Candle edges ever burn? Not really. They are sorted. You're missing part five. I guess so. Oh, you gotta wait. He just made Mastercraft, though. He just did it. Geralt, good. So there is like the wolf easier than the other one? Oh, I guess it is. My bad. Okay. Well, that was easy. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, okay. Meteorite silver. Thank you. Yeah, I wondered, I thought about that as like, the, du the dude is the shittier smith. Silver ingot. There it is. Okay. See? That was only 17. And whatever it takes to make the meteorite. 37. So much cheaper. Look at this. That's so weird. How like, he could, he could make the one Mastercraft. But that's it. Okay. Boots complete. Yeah, the dwarf is the worst one. Yeah, no, there's a there's a whole there's a whole uh quest about that actually, a whole storyline. About how the uh, the lady is the actual armorer and she's pissed off because people keep thinking the dwarf is better. Yeah, the dwarf is a scam artist. And he's basically like taking the lady's crafts and passing them off as his own because he doesn't know what else to do. It's uh it's a pretty cool storyline. Uh like most thing, like most of the cooler parts of The Witcher, it's like, oh, there's like a, 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 a surprising little little twist of a uh, a little a little twist of flavor on that. Uh, okay, so let me see where I'm at with chest armor. I need to make woven. So enhanced, enhanced, superior. Okay, so there's two superiors I have to make. I might as well start with the woven stuff. Let's see how, how far I can get that. Woven armor, kablow. Enhanced wolf armor. Kablow. Uh, and let's see here. Feline is already superior, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, okay. So now I need Demeridian plates. Demeridian plates. And Demeridian plates. I need six Demeridian plates. Shit. That sucks. That's a lot of Demeridian uh, ingots and ore I need to make now. Okay. More Demeridium. More. Ugh. So I need 16 Demeridium ingots. Oof. 16 Demeridium ingots. All right. I still giggle at the thought of gamers saying they want more non-political games like Witcher 3. Yeah. And or like Grand Theft Auto 5 or Metal Gear Solid. Like the most political games in the world. It's 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 a silly smokescreen. It always has been. And, you can definitely see how uh, how profound that dedication is by what they do and don't say that about. Uh, oh, Donald edits? No, uh, you're heading out? All right, thank you for watching. Always chill times here on the stream. Okay, I'm gonna use the restroom real quick and then figure out how to get all this Demeridium. Be back soon. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm back. Sorry about the extended break. Stephanie got tacos. So I ate a taco. Couldn't deny it. Couldn't, couldn't stay away from it. 
Still thinking about those tacos, in fact. Still thinking about them. So I need... I need 16... 8 plates, 16 ingots. Which means I need 16 ore and 16 glowing ore. Um, which means I need 16 dark steel and 16 meteorite silver. Oh boy. Steel ingots. How's Geralt's shirt coming? Pretty good. I think. Uh, dark steel. Okay. Ooh, dark iron ore. I cannot make ore, dark iron ore. Dark iron ingots. Hmm, maybe I have plates I can, I might have plates that I can dismantle. Let's find out. I need dark iron, dark iron. Yeah, this is Persona 3 Remix, I guess? Maybe from Fest or something? Oh, this is Persona 3. I mean, Persona, good good spot on the Persona, but... Ooh, all oh, iron, eh. Might as well. It's not... Nails aren't gonna do anything. Oh, dark iron. Oh, right. Um, steel plates. Uh-oh. Oh, maybe you had a dark iron. Hold on a minute. Uh, well, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I lost. I lost the narrative of what I was going for. <laughs> dark iron ingots, um, or dark steel. Which means I need dark iron ingots. Okay. Oh yeah. So I need things that either go to dark iron ore or dark iron ingots. And if I can't dismantle it, I don't think I can get it. That means I need to buy it. Or, oh, dark iron ore. I, it's an item needed to complete a quest. Have I already finished it, though? I don't know. All Persona music just sounds the same, just different beat. There's only one, there's only four kinds of Persona game. Uh, let's see. I think one of my favorite things is when somebody somebody decides to drop the bomb on you that there's like only eight kinds of narratives or whatever. Um, Two ingots, let's see here. Meteorite or Steel plates, dark steel ingots, gold ore, steel ingot. Hmm. I might be out of luck here. This is good music, though. Good fit. Thematically appropriate. Yeah, huh. I guess maybe certain types of weapons and stuff would dismantle to that? Alright, well, hold on. Let's go back to crafting and kind of take stock of where I'm at. So, the goal is to get Dimmerity Mangots. Trying to do that with this. Dimmerity Ore. Yeah. Which I didn't really make enough of. 
Dark's doing good. Five or thirty-three. Jeez, fine. Okay, well, whatever. That's en that's enough to start, I think. God, uh, meteorite silver. All right. Uh, silver ingots. Okay. I don't think I have that much silver kicking around. Maybe I do. Uh. Okay, no, that's fine. 17 each. <sighs> You're right, silver? Yeah. Oh man, so many steps. Uh, gaming, I do have a list, sort of. It's, it's outdated. If you use the, I think it's the mods command? Exclamation point mods? It does have a list of mods there, but they're not all very easy to use. Uh, Kiki Cory, let me flip the hourglass for you. Um, I wouldn't, I honestly wouldn't use it as a list. <laughs> really, if you just go to, uh, Nexus mods and, and sort by the most popular, that's a good place to start. That's how I would recommend doing it. Okay, I need ore. way to get it. Glowing ore. I don't recall seeing glowing ore pop out of anything else. Ah, that's expensive. Oh boy. Ugh, this is a lot of dimeridium. Oh, Kiri Cory, sorry, yeah. <clears throat> it looks, it looks, that I just, the K is, makes so much sense. But yes, apologies. Apologies for masquerading your name again. Uh, I will, I will probably not get it next time. Or rather, I'll probably get it next time. I don't know where I'm going with that. Going for. Uh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure nothing turned into glowing ore. That just didn't happen. Yeah. Nothing I've got anyway. I can make like one or two, uh, and then I'm gonna be out of luck. Oh! Oh, <laughs> dang it. That's exactly what I need, never mind. Of course, of course that's how it works. Hmm. I think I'm gonna have to just buy it. Um, Which hurts a little bit, because I don't have that much. I don't have that much to go around. So it's glowing ore, yeah. Mm. All right. <laughs> Uh, this is also just to get to superior, and I need two. Not one, but two. I wonder, what what does Mastercrafted Feline need? Oh, just more Demeridium? Okay. Oh, man, that's a lot of Demeridium. Okay, well, I'm out of money. And, uh... Don't have anything else to dismantle. So... I think I'm going to have to just maybe start playing... Maybe I'll... Mm. But... I can, I can get... I can get items and money in the DLC, so it may be more efficient to just start it. But, here's the problem. I've eaten a taco, and now I've gotten the taste of taco in my mouth, and I can't get rid of it, so I'm actually really hungry, so I think I'm gonna stop streaming here. I'm being tempted away by tacos. Uh, taco tacos and Dr. Mario. Taco a day keeps the Dr. Mario away. Um, I, finished, <laughs> I finished the boots, so that's exciting. Um, still got pants and gloves. Actually, hold on a minute. Let me, 
Well, let me take a little look here and see how bad trousers will be. Look at that. I can just do that. Easy. Wolven. No problem. This I'll just this I'll just knock out right away. This will be really easy. This will be really easy, really inexpensive. Ooh, I need leather scraps. Actually, leather scraps are easy. I can make those. I'm surprised they ran out, actually. Oh, this music. What, what are you doing? What are you doing here? Oh, it's Toho? Okay. Uh, that makes sense. Gosh. Leather scraps. hardened leather turn into leather scraps? I think it does. No, it doesn't. It turns into cured leather and oil. Does cured leather turn into leather scraps? It does. Okay. Turns into four. Right. There we go. Now we're doing it. We're having leather scraps problems? Yeah. We seem to need a lot of them. Ooh, can't do any of the superiors. Ooh. Hardened timber? Monster egg. At least this is different stuff. Meteorite silver. Oof. Not enough coin? Ouch. Ouch, it hurts. And then silver, yeah, an egg. Okay. Well, I can get a little further in that then. Um, and then gauntlets. Let's see how bad you are. see here. Hand scraping. Oh, not enough coin. Ow. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Yeah, I guess I'm just curious what the Mastercraft needs. Is it... Oh, this isn't... I mean, I have some of this stuff. Yeah, it's all just monster things. That's actually pretty approachable. Again, just with a small amount of money. Just a small amount of coin. Small loan of a million, million gold pieces. Any glowing armor? Hmm, okay. I <laughs> saw the Radiohead side of Toa music. Can you expect me to not request it? Can you do that? Take care now. Check out your materials. Maybe you have loads of gemstones you could sell? Uh, maybe. Wait. Where do, where would gemstones be? Under other? I think I may have tried to sell those already. Maybe. I know that I've tried to get rid of stuff for uh, weight carrying purposes. And would it be under crafting slash alchemy? Oh yeah, wow, that's worth a lot. Damn, that's worth a lot. Kind of, I, if I can find anyone to buy it for that. Amethyst? Who buys gemstones? Is it a... Uh, Do I need that for anything? Diamond dust? Emerald dust? Amethyst dust? Yeah. This is worth a lot. It's worth a lot of stuff. <sighs> Neat. Oh, anyway, I gotta go eat tacos. <laughs> first things first. Oh, there is a request song option. You can only request one at a time. That's really cool. I like that. Okay. Um, I, I will indeed, next time I play Witcher, if I don't lose, get distracted by another game, I will wrap up all Wild Hunt stuff. How exciting. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Uh, tomorrow is actually Wednesday, so it's podcast and media share day. And then, uh, more fun video games after that. Yeah. Good times. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great night. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Sega,